on. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Will. My name is Mike. And we are Performance Science Training. So today we're going to be going, going over a really common video that you see on YouTube, but we're going to add our kind of little spiel to it, our little taste, which is the three key fundamentals to an effective one-handed backhand. So I've had a one-handed backhand now since I was about 11 or 10 years old. I've had it almost my whole entire adult life, never changed. Mike here has had a 200 backhand for the majority of his adult life. But we're going to try and teach Mike the one-hander, which is something that can be a lost art to some degree. Or in other cases, just something that's really hard to get right. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into just first key, first key of those three things is high take back. So 200 backhands, typically, we use both our hands, right? Now, Tui, Mike? Yeah. Yep. So we use both our hands. People's misconception, which you'll see in, from a one-hander, is that it's a one-handed backhand. Well, it's not technically a one-handed backhand. You're still using your left hand, but your release point is really late. So I might put a slow-mo here of Roger or Gasquet or even Dimitrov, how their uh, take backs, they're using that left side, so that high elbow, left side, and it's coming all the way down and through, and the last section of the actual swing, you release the racket. So the first key factor is that high elbow. So you want to have that lovely high elbow to first to engage that high, so that high, low, high, which classic coaches will say low to high. Well, from what I've learned and from what I've seen, we actually go in a more circular manner, high, low, high, so you get that lovely rhythm and that arc to your swing. Second key fundamental is rotation. So I see a lot of one-handers in the game, at least kind of the three, five, four, oh level, that when they're doing their swing, they're trying to do everything from an open hip. They're trying to get their body really open and try and muscle that ball through, because they're used to muscling it through from a two-hander, which I'm sure, Mike, you've probably seen enough of that if you've been on the game enough. And what I like to see is that I see that lovely rotation. You'll see in the widget here, a little link to our four S's, which we've done in a video earlier today on, which are, which are key to the, having an effective back. If you want to go watch that, check it out. But again, rotation. So first S, high left elbow to engage that love, to start the unit turn. Second thing is that unit turn. Really trying to show outside of your shoulder blade. That's the third and the second thing. And the third thing is what I call the angel's wings. So we'll show my the angel's wings which is another, another name for extension. So the angel's wings is, is actually a broken wing. So you want to have that high right extension, the first wing, and that low left hand second wing. The reason for that, if I come here, my shoulders can only move so far. Right? So show me that, Mike. How, much, how far can you move your shoulders? So he's really tight, right? Those, those wings being the same level are really tight on your shoulders. But if you can see here how long more I can go, I can extend and go longer at a more of a 45 degree angle on both my left and my right arm. Another super important thing to extend through the swing and not get short. So that's enough of us talking, right? I think we've talked more than long enough. Let's get into the actual hitting part. So Mike's going to do probably 10 or 15 balls here. We're going to see what he looks like first, then make some modifications. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go, yeah. So 10 balls. I should be in shot. Let's go again. Ready? Time. So the first thing we want to see Mike doing is that, obviously, that lovely high elbow. So Mike, really exaggerate your high elbow. Ready? Here we go. Bring it up. Good. A little higher from me can. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm see how Mike's elbow there was actually above his shoulder height, right? At the first one, it wasn't. But you are above shoulder height. That's what I want to see more from you. So to really exaggerate that elbow. Let's go again. Ready? Exaggerate. So that last one there, Mike was a little bit lower the elbow. So I want you a little bit higher. So really, again, bring it up. Bring it up. Nearly. So this is why Mike being a 200 backhand, it's hard for him because he's used to tucking in that left elbow. I want, Mike, I want to see this. Really bring that bad boy up. There we go. So that left elbow is higher than his shoulder. There we go. Ready? So bring it up. So show me slow-mo. Better. Now hold it there. So hold it there. Drop. And extend. Good. So that's our first key. High elbow. That's the first thing we worked on there. Second thing we worked on was rotation, or unit turn, or a variety of things. We were turning our body to get more rotation, but also more extension, which leads on to our third key fact. It's all right, Mike, so I want to really see high elbow one, but really show me the back of your shoulder blade. So I want to see Mike's right shoulder blade here. Here we go, right? All right, Mike, high elbow. Good, 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 left, good shoulder blade. Excellent, lovely extension there. And again, 
One more, so turn, good. High elbow, higher, higher, higher. Shoulder, good. You can see now, if we put it in slow-mo, Mike, for the camera, you can see that lovely shoulder blade, which that helps aid that rotation. And that goes into our third key fact here, which is extension, what I call the angel's wings, or broken wings, because you've got one high and one low. All right, Mike, so let's really push those wings out here. Here we go. Let's go again, so high elbow, first thing. Good, a little higher for me. That's good, right. Turn the shoulders and then release, angel's wings. Good, very good finish. And I like how he held that swing there. Really important, you hold and balance. Let's go again, ready we go, Mike. So turn, good elbow, turn the body. Extension, beautiful extension there. And again, two more, let's go. I'm gonna be quiet here, all you. Nice, good, a little bit higher, one more, ready? And see Mike, then that last one, you can just see how his elbow was low. It's not the end of the world having a low elbow, but it does aid that more circular motion if your elbow is higher. So that, I'm glad we saw that. It's really important that we saw that on, your, on the video. It means that we, even as pros, we still have issues. And again, el elbow high. Nearly. Too low there. Lovely extension, but that elbow up from the left side. Elbow up. That's better. That was much better. And again, try and go up earlier, Mike. Here we go. Up earlier. That's better. I still want to see that higher here, try and put tension in that left shoulder. That's better. Boom, good extension. And that there was a pretty nice finish there. So about what, maybe four or five minutes in. That's what I want to see from you guys. So our channel is all about bringing you guys that are kind of plateauing in performance and making you better. Giving those kind of small nuggets of advice that you don't always see on YouTube. And that's all to try and give you that kind of help. So again, we'll go back over this other kind of outro here for this part section. First key fact, what is it, Mike? High elbow. Excellent, so that high elbow. So that lovely high elbow. Mike being trying to struggle, you can see he's used to, <coughs> used to going low. We forced him high, which is a bit weird for you. It's uncomfortable, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, it feels uncomfortable. Suddenly, it's all this weird tension in the higher part of your shoulder, which doesn't feel comfortable to start with. It's all about loading energy earlier. So the second part, which was, yeah. Rotation, yeah, that shoulder turn, that big shoulder turn, that rotation, which again, you'll see that on YouTube a lot, that's a common known fact, unit turns, they're all, all over the place. But we're looking to try and add that element in there. And the third thing, which is my little like pun here, which is those... Broken angel's wings. Yeah, those broken angel's wings. So rather than being up here, no, no flexibility. Here, no flexibility. When you start to turn and bring that back hand behind you, you can then suddenly go a lot further than you would do if you're here because your arms can't go. So that energy can be released a lot more away from because you're extending with the freedom that you need to play an effective stroke. So, we're performance, we're performance tennis training. My name's Will. My name's Mike. And we will see you next time. Remember guys, comment, like, and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. Helps the algorithm get better and better. So thanks for watching, see you next time, bye.